So we're hoping to hear um, the dawn chorus, which is um, a feature, a natural feature of this time of year, where the birds all start singing, and they've started already, uh, even before it gets light. Um, and there's a couple of reasons why the birds are singing so much now. One being um, that they're proclaiming their territory. So it's the time of year for breeding. Some of them will have started uh, much earlier in the year, and starting to lay claim to their territory and saying, this is my patch, other males need to keep off. So they work out basically where each other lives and, um, and kind of stay claim to it. The other reason the male will sing is obviously to attract a female in for breeding. Um, so he wants to sing and basically say, I'm like healthy enough, vigorous enough to hold the territory and to, um, to provide the right kind of habitat and the right. Um, but generally you have a pair holding a territory and the female will be um, either on eggs or maybe both of them are raising chicks this time of year. So it's peak breeding season. And the reason they do it in the morning time or even before the light comes up, one is uh, that this time of morning, it's not feeding time yet because these small birds are very visual and they need light um, normally um, to, to feed. Later in the day as it warms up, he'll get rid of the uh, kind of urge to sing and he'll go off when he's hungry and it's light um, to feed. The other reason they think that birds sing this time of morning is um, that the morning air, um, there's not a lot of noise around and also the Kind of density of the air and stuff it carries the sound for the call is a social sound it's a sound to say either back off my territory or you can have alarm calls if you just around if they'll make a racket and things or they'll just call to their young to keep them close and stuff but a song is often a much more complex um, sound and series of notes and kind of a repertoire that different birds have which is quite specific to them and it's really about showboating and telling telling the female of the species normally that um, I'm here, I'm ready to breed, and I'm a good provider, and I'm a good territory holder. Um, so the the kind of order, or the sequence of, of the dawn chorus normally starts with the, the usual culprits, which is um, the robin, which is that little kind of, um, people have various ways of describing um, birdsong, and um, I often remember the more kind of like descriptive terms, but some people have, you know, more kind of um, literal kind of, um, terms and, and uh, phonetics of the song, but I remember the, the robin is this kind of like sweet, fluty, um, some people call it like a little kind of um, melancholic um, type song, but it's a very kind of thin, trilling, kind of fluty song. Um, so we'll hear loads of them and we'll point out the differences in them, but normally robins um, are the ones that we hear very early in spring or late winter, people saying, there's a bird singing outside my window, like in the dark, why, what is that or why is that? Is it a nightingale, you know, is that the only bird that sings at night time? I wish it was a nightingale in healing, but we're not that lucky. And um, robins are usually the first ones. So that little kind of whistly, fluty um, sound is a robin. Um, wrens start up, blackbirds and the thrush family start up um, quite early as well. I can hear a blackbird back there. So a more whistly, kind of melodic, kind of um, fluty sound, not that thin kind of trill, kind of a... You hear that one back there? Yeah. You'll get your ear in. It's really difficult. A lot of you probably, or maybe I'm giving, giving you little credit, but some of you might be like, I can't tell the bloody difference. <laughs> but over the course of the morning, I think um, you will learn, we'll learn to pick out the really common ones first. And once you nail the robin, the blackbird, the wren, then you'll hear another one and you'll think, oh, that's a bit different, why is that different? Um, so we'll describe them in terms of like phrases and their habits and how they sing and what kind of um, um, relationship they have between notes and things like that. And hopefully we'll get you all uh, at least expert on like four or five different um, songs over the course of the morning.